So I had a request from a viewer, John Dustin. Appreciate it, John. He asked for a 2023 roadmap. What can we expect for 2023 from Cardano? We obviously know there's a lot of things being built right now, and it actually took a little bit of time to put this together. Some of this is on point. Some of it's speculative. You got to remember, there's a lot of uh, announcements that have not been made yet. So this is my speculative roadmap for Cardano for 2023. So the biggest confirmation that we know, we absolutely know that we're getting is Jed in January 2023. If you're not familiar with Jed, it's an algorithmic back or it's an algorithmic over collateralized stable coin. It's going to hold collateral at a four to eight hundred percent ratio, which is great. Nothing right now has this much collateral backing it. Okay, Jed has been in development for quite some time. It would be the first stable coin on the Cardano network, apart from those that are done with bridging, that sort of thing. It gives the community a sense of stability, a sense of safety, because now it eliminates the need for these bridges to be in place. I'm going to try to go through this somewhat quickly so I don't bore you guys with all the details because there is so much that is happening. Now, Hydra. Okay, we obviously know Hydra, the scaling solution for Cardano, the layer two chain, has been in development for quite some time. And in fact, it is already in testnet. The latest testnet update that we got, I believe, was in October or September. If I remember correctly, that was version 0.8.0, if my memory serves me correct. Now, that, I'm guessing, is going to launch at some point in quarter two of 2023. I think Cardano is going to do a great job of laying things out in steps as this year continues to roll on. The biggest thing is obviously getting Jed launched, but Hydra is going to offer interesting solutions for Cardano. It's going to help with scalability. Obviously, Cardano is massively scalable already, but these side chains help increase that even further as load continues to, to bear down on the network as adoption happens. It's a great solution for that. There's other solutions that are going to be in Hydra as well. For example, Hydra for payments. It's going to use the integration of Light Wallet to be able to enable real world payments. So it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to work hand in hand with Cody or be a direct competitor to Cody. That I'm not sure of yet, but that's that's something that will be coming. Just got to obviously be patient and wait for that. Now, Lace Wallet. Okay, this is something that Charles Hoskinson talks up all the time. Okay, Lace Wallet is going to be a huge thing for the community. Still in development, still in beta, at least as of this point. But it looks like it is going to launch when it's ready. I'm guessing at some point in the middle of the year, whether that be quarter two, quarter three, it's going to be a fully, inter I don't know if integrative is a word, but it's going to be fully integrative, all right? <laughs> it's going to integrate all parts of Web3, whether that be NFTs, whether that be um, crypto, whether, you know, basically any Web3 solution what is going to be able to be accessed in this lace wallet. It's going to be fast. It's going to work great. I mean, this, this is something that is, uh, this is really exciting. Oh, I've been looking up a lot of stuff, obviously on here. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. Now, obviously USDA, this is the one that I really like. Okay. Obviously Jed is going to be great. It's going to be the first of it, you know, the first of its kind with its backing at the launch of this year, but USDA, okay. USDA, it seems simple to launch, but you got to remember, okay, there's got to be that much capital that is actually backing USDA for it to really be successful, okay? It's going to take time to acquire that much capital. Now, whether, you know, whether they put that in, uh, you know, whether IOG or Cardano put that in themselves to get things going, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the development of that's going to look like. But if you remember, it's a fiat-backed stable coin. It's regulatory compliant. That is going to be absolutely the first of its kind. I think that's going to be in the 2023 roadmap because it's got to be the first to market. Okay. If it's going to be the first of its kind, it's got to be the first to market. And with regulation likely coming down the pipeline at some point in 2023, it would be great to have that in place and say, Hey, I'm a solution for that. You can come right to me. Okay. That's what I think USDA is going to offer. And that's the reason why I think that is going to be here this year. Now, that is obviously going to come before Midnight and Dust Token. Okay, we haven't learned much about Midnight and Dust Token. It's been kind of shrouded in mystery. Okay, it's been shrouded in mystery during this time. Okay, it was announced back in November. Everybody's very excited for it to come. It's going to be, it's going to be a zero-knowledge proof chain, the privacy chain. And this is where you start to get into some crazy areas of speculation for Cardano. Okay, obviously, we know that adoption 
needs to happen, okay, on a, a very broad scale. And where that could really happen is with businesses. Businesses are looking to get into um, blockchain, okay? Blockchain is uh, it's cheaper, it's uh, easier on electricity, right? There's all sorts of reasons why blockchain works well for companies. Now, obviously, companies' anonymity is a big, big deal. And this is where Midnight could offer that for businesses, okay? This is a big, big deal. And Cardano, to be able to wrap this up in the whole Cardano ecosystem and infrastructure, it's going to be a very big deal. Now, when that is going to come again, we don't really know. I'm guessing later this year. It sounds like it's been in development for quite some time. Whether it'll be ready to go, that's for the, the IOG team to figure out, right? That's We have no idea yet. Still early in development. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually pushed into 2024, you know, because this would obviously be a lot. I know that they have different teams working on different things, but this would be a lot to come in 2023. Now, the very last thing on the list, okay, Africa. This one, there's it's hard to find a lot of info on this, okay? So Cardano is obviously making a big push into Africa. They have a partnership with World Mobile. It's going to be one of the things launching on Cardano, okay? This is huge because there's a big problem in the world. And one of the uh, biggest issues is access to the internet. Okay. Right now, there's a lot of countries, uh, especially, you know, different countries in Africa that do not have access to a reliable internet source. And blockchain is something that could help solve this. Okay. So with this partnership, there is going to be something huge launching in Africa, whether that be this year. I know this, this partnership that they have has been since uh, early 2021, and the development and infrastructure is the biggest thing right now that is taking time, okay? Whether that launches in 2023 or 2024, we obviously don't know yet, but they're working hard. This is a big goal. Right now, the biggest competition that they have in Africa is actually China. China's trying to do something similar with bringing this sort of solution to you know the different countries of Africa. Now, obviously, this video is getting a little long, so I don't want to go too much longer here, but this is huge. Okay, Africa has a large population and blockchain and cryptocurrency are a huge solution there. Okay, there's there's a a big issue with uh, currencies, devaluation of currencies. We're actually seeing it all over the world right now. You know, South America, Africa, a lot of countries are dealing with this, especially as inflation continues to run rampant. And this is where. Cardano offers a huge solution with this par- partnership with World Mobile. Now, again, when that'll happen, I don't know. But that's why I got the big question mark on the roadmap here. But it's an exciting time to be in Cardano. Okay, This is why I'm so positive about Cardano and why I make so many Cardano videos. The roadmap for what is coming is like nothing else in crypto. Okay, They are by far outpacing crypto as far as development goes. And if the adoption continues to ramp up at the rate that it has, over the course of this bear market cycle, as development continues to ramp up during the same period of time, man, I people who aren't paying attention right now are going to miss out. Okay, There are going to be people that miss out, and that's unfortunate for them. But as always, definitely do your own research. This is my 2023 speculative roadmap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you as always. Hope you enjoyed the video, John. Hopefully that gave you a better idea of what 2023 could end up looking like. But I appreciate you guys as always. Make sure you show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. Again, that way you can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day. Really hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.